Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am actually going to be doing my November's favorites hit and misses. Um, this is my first time filming this, so hopefully it all goes well. The first thing that I really want to talk about is what everybody, every guru is raving about lately. And those are the um, Revlon Lip Butters. I was actually searching for these for quite some time now. And I actually found them yesterday at um, at Zellers. I only picked up four colors because they only had a couple and I didn't want to pick up too many because they were $9.99 each at Zellers. So the colors that I picked was Cotton Candy 045. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. Um, Berry Smoothie in 050. Um, 020 in brown sugar and 060 in gumdrop. Now these four colors are completely different um, from reds to plum color to brown color to pink color so I picked up all four different completely different colors. The one I have on my lips right now is cotton candy um, it doesn't really show up on lips, so I was kind of disappointed. Um, so that's just how it looks like. Yeah, and I don't know. And yesterday I had uh, brown sugar on. Brown sugar is actually not that bad. Um, I can definitely see the colors on my lips, so that's just how it looks like. I didn't try the other two yet, which is the Gumdrop and Berry Smoothie, but I heard really good stuff about Berry Smoothie through other people's reviews and stuff like that. So that's just the Gumdrop one. And this one's the Berry Smoothie. I really like the color on Berry Smoothie, so I can't wait till I try this on. I'm probably going to do swatches on my hand for you guys. Don't know if it'll pick up on my camera though. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I don't think it'll pick up on my camera, so I'm probably going to swatch it and then post a picture up on my Tumblr. So you guys can just visit that. I'm going to post my Tumblr down below so you guys can check it out. The second thing that I want to talk about are the um, blushes that I'm currently really really into. I picked these up a couple like a while back and I just recently just enjoyed them really really much so yeah. The first one is my Tarte blush. Um, this one is the Longwear blush in Doll Face. Okay so this is how it looks like. It's a really light pink. So pretty, and that's what I have on right now. I don't know if the camera will pick up though, but that's this is the one that I currently have on. The second blush I'm totally obsessed with right now um, is the Wonder Woman blush, and this one is in Amazon Princess. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have this or heard of this. Such a pretty color. And it's very, very, very pigmented too. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about nail polishes. And currently I am really into the pinks, the dark pinks, um, and the light pinks. But these two are my favorite right now, and they're by Etsy. This one is in Belay Slipper, and this is Ladylike. I have Ladylike on right now. Such a pretty color. I really, really like it. So if, I don't know if they still have Ladylike. This one was the fall collection. It is limited edition, not part of the uh, full line. So if you guys can still pick this up, I would seriously recommend you guys to pick it up. And 
then my favorite of all eyeshadows is my Naked palette. I actually didn't pick this up long ago. I'm probably one of the last few people to pick this up, but I love this. Today I actually have on um, Hustle, Dark Horse, and Buck on my eyelid. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. And then I have Virgin as my highlighter. I love this palette. And also, I want to show you guys a couple of things I picked up for Forever 21. And right now, Forever 21, they have their Hello Kitty collection out. And they have their clothing line and everything, but I only found one accessory from the Hello Kitty collection line. I don't know what else they have, but I only found one thing. So, yeah. And this is what I got. Forever, 20, Forever 21 for Hello Kitty. Like. Isn't that so cute? I love this necklace. But I don't know if I'm ever going to wear this because the necklace that I am wearing is what my babe got me. And it just says Jessica. I always really wanted one of these and he got it for me. So I wear this every single day. So I don't know when I'm actually going to be wearing my Hello Kitty necklace. But I probably will one day. I just don't know when. And this one was only 1080, so it's such a good deal because um, I went to other Hello Kitty stores, like the main Japan Hello Kitty stores. They sell these for like 30 something dollars. So I was really happy when I saw the price on this. I was like, 1080? Yeah, I'm gonna get it. And I also picked up a set of um, bangles. These are really, really pretty. And these ones were just 680 for a bunch of these. These ones just are really, really classy, elegant bangles, which you can just wear daily. And I love them. What size? Also, I picked up the Forever 21 false eyelashes. I don't know how these ones will look. I've never tried these ones, but they were only a dollar, so I thought I'll give them a try. And those. That's just how it looks like. It looks really natural, so yeah. Usually the ones that I wear are really, really dramatic. I get them from Daiso in Aberdeen. If you guys live in Vancouver, you would definitely know what Daiso is, but that's just where I, I get my eyelashes from. Because I don't like ordering stuff from online if unless I really, really have to. I just put my in my order for Elf. So hopefully I'll be getting that package soon and I can show you guys what I got. Oh, and I also picked up this L'Oreal um, L'Oreal lipstick in 130. This is a very plum berry color. It's called Enduring Berry. I kind of dab this on like for one of the days, but I don't have it fully on. So it looks such a pretty color. I'm really into the very bright, intense colors nowadays, but I don't know if I can actually pull it off or not. So we'll skip with that. I picked this up from Bath and Body Works. Actually, I picked up a couple of things, so I'm just going to show you some of the things that I am really, really loving from the day when I picked these up. So I got this mist, and this is called Carried Away. This smells so good. Um, it smells like those perfumes that you usually buy from like Sephora or like the Bay or something. But this one smells so good, and my boyfriend loves this too, so I picked this up. I was going to pick up the Paris one, but then he wasn't really a big fan of that, so I didn't pick it up. But anyways, you guys can go into the Bath & Body Works store and give it a sniff and see if you guys like it. If you guys do, then sure, go pick it up, because I really definitely recommend this. I spray these on, like, throughout my room, um, my clothing, and everything, so, yeah, I just love the smell, so, yeah. Also, one of my favorite things from Bath & Body Works, I actually picked up one of their candles, and this one is in Twilight Woods. Um, I, like, a while back, my clothes were smelling really, really bad because I my house was on fire, so everything smelled like smoke, so I was trying to really get rid of that smell. So I bought that mist to try to, like, just spray on my clothes and stuff to see if I can get rid of the smell. 
and obviously I washed it too, but like, I still want everything to smell nice. And I also bought the candles, so then my whole room is going to smell okay. And this smells so good. I really, really like this. A lot of the Bath & Body Works candles feel really, really strong, and it just makes me feel sick when it burns for too long. And if you sniff at it, it just makes me feel really, really sick. So I can't go for those really, really strong candle smells. But this one is actually very smoothing. Um, and I really enjoy this. So I would definitely recommend this as well. And this is the Twilight Wood. I don't know, my favorite hand cream right now is Cucumber Melon. Which you guys would probably have seen from my What's My Bag per what's, what's my Purse video. Yeah, so I'm really loving this. Mm. Yeah, I love cucumber melon. Ever since I smelt this, I was in love. So, I think that's it. I really... Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. Right now, my favorite foundation is MAC Matchmaker, and I am in 04. It's back there somewhere over there. I'm not going to go grab it. But anyways, I am loving MAC Matchmaker. Is it called Ashmaker? No. Anyways, if I have the wrong name, I'm going to post it right here. If I do have the right name, then whatever. I think it's called Ashmaker. But, meh. Anyways, um, so that's all for my November hits and misses. Or November. No, that's all for my November favorites and hits and misses. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please comment down below like the like button and subscribe up top.